Alright, it's Cam with another video for OutDigitalPaint.com. Continue on the series, now in episode 16. Now I'm looking at painting with masks and selections. So, as a prerequisite, I advise you look at the old video of um, making line art, which is, I think, episode 11. Uh, there's some lines I did in Sketchbook Pro. It's definitely worth a look at that program. You can get a trial. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how you can prepare some line art even from a, a painting or a photo so we're just adjusting the levels there adding a threshold filter as well and then that'll reduce it just down to a straight black and white and that's a good technique as well if you're if you've got some inks uh, like you doing some comic work use a threshold filter and you'll get out eliminate any grays and then you can um, get it ready for colouring. So what I'm doing here, as I said, watch the preparing line art video and it explains this process. But um the the added extra I've done here is the is to add the, the threshold filter. And then just to clean up the edges a bit just uh, duplicate it, blur it a bit, uh, Gaussian blur. And now on a layer beneath those lines, uh, we're going to the paint bucket tool, and you see up there, you can choose either pattern or foreground. Um, there's some pre-stock patterns, or you can make your own. Just use the selection tool, hold shift to keep it a square go to edit, define pattern and you have your own custom pattern you can use but we're going to use the stock patterns you'll notice there's also some color patterns there so if you want to use those um, you can use those and then just desaturate them if you want to keep your white black and white so now on a new layer I've filled, filled that layer I've added a mask to the layer now with the layer selected we fill it with all black so that'll that'll hide the mask and now we can choose a paintbrush switch the the mask color to white and now when we paint with white it will make the mask reappear so we can just paint in those areas that we're hidden and bring the pattern back in So just apply it appropriately with your image, what's going to look good, and then we can make a new layer and repeat the effect. So filling the filling the mask up with black, switching to white, and then painting in extra patterns. So you can use a combination of patterns in your work. You can even use photos in your work. Um, you may lay in a photo and then mask out areas of the photo so it might be like a rust texture or something like that you can be creative with it and you can have some really nice effects so now we're looking at um, how we can just use selections rather than having to use masks all the time although here um, when you when you make a selection and you add a mask it will automatically create a mask um, with that selection or you can just make a selection and paint into it. Alternatively, you can click lock transparency um, when you've painted in some pixels. So you can see using a combination of the selection and using the gradient tool, painting in the selection, and also just using an airbrush and painting in. So I'm just showing a number of ways, and you can experiment yourself with using different brushes and. Um, adding highlights or shadows with these different techniques. Um, so yeah, just be creative with it. 